Hello everyone, we are from group one. We'll present the result of our assignment for disease management technology in title of biological, physical, and chemical control of 10 pathogens. But before it, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Sundawara Masigalingging, and my partner is Gina Octavia Zata Amani, Putu Dewi Utami, Azmi Azizi, Dohar Mamarbun, De Amalia, and Azahara Dadisha Arsidik. Okay, control of plant pathogen. Control of plant pathogen is any mean to control disease or reduce the number or influence of pathogen by biological mechanism or organism. Other than human biological control of plant pathogen is mostly through antibiosis, competition, and hyperparasit, or through the, the induction of plant resistance to disease. Most antagonists are passive and immobile, come, come into contact with pathogen by accident and operate in mixed group of more than one individu individual. Next. Type of controlling pathogen. Number one is biological control. Number two, physical control. And number, number three, chemical control. Next. First is biological control. Biological control of plant pathogens. Biological control is the control of plant pest organism or OPT by using organisms other than the pest itself. According to Cook, 1979, said the research of the biological control of plant pathogens, there are at least five processes that occur First is decrease in aniculum density. Second is relocating pathogens to saprophytes. Third is suppression of germination and growth of pathogens or entanglement of plant pathogens. Fourth is protection of site of infection. And the last in induction of host resistance or cross protection. Number two, physical control. Physical control of plant pathogen. Physical control is a control action that uses physical factors such as in increasing the temperature by burning, lowering the temperature by flooding, saturation of the soil, trapping light, and regulation light and sound. In other words, physical control is an effort to use or change physical and environmental factor in such a way that it can kill or reduce the population of pathogenic pets that are specially intended to kill pets. Techniques of physical control. Number one is getting wet treatment. Number two is burning. Number three, number three is using white trap. Number four is using of color traps. Number five is burying. Number six is sun wet. Number seven is Fumigation. Chemical control. Chemical control of plant pathogens. Chemical control with selective pesticides is a way of controlling pests and disease using chemical poison or pesticides. To control bacteria, the pesticide use is a bactericide. For fungi, it is called a fungicide. As for viruses, chemical action is rarely carried out considering the damage caused by this virus is systemic. Type of pesticide based on the target they control include. There are one, insecticides, two is fungicides, three bactericides, Four nematicides, five uh, rodenticides, six molluscicides, seven acaricides, and the last is herbicides. Chemical control must meet the following condition. Number one, the bacteria site used is the type register or, or authorized. Authoris. 
authorized by the Minister of Agriculture. Number two, meets the six criteria, namely the right type, quality, time, target, dose, and consultation, as well as the method and means of application. Number three, does not harm humans and the environment. Conclusion. Control of plant pathogens can be done by biological, physical, and chemical means. Biological control is the control of plant pest organism or OPT by using organism other than the pest itself. Physical control is a control action that uses physical factors such as increasing the temperature by burning, lowering the temperature, by flooding, solarization of the soil, trapping lights, and regulating light and sound. Chemical control with selective pesticide is a way of controlling pests, and this is using chemical poisons or pesticide. To control bacteria, the pesticide uses, uses is a bactericide. For fungi, it is called a fungicide. As for viruses, Chemical action is rarely carried out considering the damage caused by this virus is systemic. Okay guys, that's all about our presentation. We would like to say thank you for the for the attention. And if you guys have any question for us, you can put it on Spada. Thank you.